Hey guys, me host Super Soul. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's Annabelle. <laughs> now this Annabelle is awesome. It's from the Living Dead Doll series by Mezco Toys. And I thought, what better day to open this than on the release of Conjuring 3. Almost feels like a cursed day to be opening this doll, to be fair, but let's do this. <laughs> so before The Conjuring, there was Annabelle. John Form has found the perfect gift for his expectant wife Mia, a beautiful rare vintage doll in a pure white wedding dress. But Mia's delight with Annabelle doesn't last long. On one horrific night, their home is invaded by members of a satanic cult who violently attack the couple. Spilled blood and terror are not all they leave behind. The cultists have conjured an entity so, mane so benevolent that nothing they did will compare to the sinister conduit to the damned that is now Annabelle. So Annabelle acts like a beacon for the dead and she can channel uh, spirits and entities uh, into... Um, into our realm, I believe that's what her powers do anyway. Basically, she's like a beacon. Another ghost can come through Annabelle, or she can she can invite them. Almost very weird. And obviously, you're meant to keep her inside her little prison. But today, we're going to open her up, guys, and take a closer look at this awesome doll. So let's do this. You guys know I am actually terrified of Annabelle. <laughs> I think it's a great film, and the last film that they did. Um, was uh, a lot of people hated it, Annabelle in um, Annabelle Comes Home, but I really enjoyed that movie. I thought that was decent. Yes, it did feel a bit more campy, a little bit more goosebumpsy, but I enjoyed some of the other spirits they introduced us to in that film, like the ferryman and the bride, and there were so many cool characters included in that. And I thought it did have some really cool moments. And I, I really do. I really do hope in the future they give us another, another sort of um, Annabelle film like that. Because I think Annabelle is a cool idea for the Conjuring series. The fact that she can, that she is the beacon for other spirits to come through. I hope they use that as a plot device in one of the major con Conjuring movies rather than just spin-offs. Although Annabelle Comes Home did feel more like a Conjuring movie because it was obviously based on the Warrens. I know they weren't in it very long. But their presence in that movie made me feel like it was more a part of the greater you know, universe of it. Whereas, as much as I enjoyed The Nun, The Nun did feel like a separate thing to me. And other than for a few characters, like the whole uh, y um, Yorona, um, Lalona, La Yorona, whatever they call her, she, I didn't even feel like that was even remotely linked to the universe. But apparently it is. Who knows? I, I, James Wan is a brilliant director, and I know he's probably got plans and stuff for the future. I know they're still in production with The Crooked Man. I can't wait to see that. Come on. Ugh. Final, The final bit's giving us a stick. There we go. That's everything now, so she should. There we go. Should just come free there now. Beautiful figure. Very nice. So this is Annabelle out of the packaging. It's a living dead doll figure, so she had, does have articulation. Her neck does move up and down, which is nice, as well as um, left and right. You can move her arm up here at the side hinge and also rotate. There's no elbow hinges on this one, and her hands as well are static. She does have Velcro down the back of the dress, so you can take these dresses off the Living Dead dolls, which is cool, so you can change them up if you wanted to. Not that you would, but it's the, the option is there. You can move her legs forward so that she can sit down. It's a shame there's no articulation in the knees, because obviously in the film her knees kind of did sink down. And her legs also lift outwards a little bit as well. Pretty much, I think anyone who's buying this doll isn't removing it from that box anyway, because that box is just, it is the Annabelle box, so you wouldn't want, you want that on display with her, surely. Uh, but yeah, it's just a very nice, immaculate doll, and I think she looks awesome. Some, that face sculpt as well is beautifully done. I'm a big fan of the Living Dead dolls, you guys know. I've already got, who have we got up top? We've got Sam, and I've got Harley Quinn, and I've got Freddy Krueger so far. This is now Annabelle, and I've also got the It 
Pennywise, the traditional Pennywise down there to do as well. And he's just as cool. But yeah, very cool doll. I think she looks absolutely amazing. I'll take you guys down to the desk cam to give you a closer look in a moment. And uh, yeah, I can imagine this scaring a lot of people having it in the house, to be honest. Especially if she was out of the box and you kept moving around. That just terrified me, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit... I don't know, the idea of Annabelle scares me. I love the fact that in the films you don't see the doll move, which makes it even more sinister. Because like normally, like in films like Chucky, I don't find Chucky scary because Chucky look, looks pathetic when he runs. Imagine that thing changing, you'd just boot it, wouldn't you? <laughs> but Annabelle seems to just appear and disappear and reappear in new places, which that is just scary in itself. And the fact that they didn't try and animate her too much. So basically like the thing where she just slumped forward and hit her head against the glass, that was quite scary. And little things like that, I think just, they've done it very well because it can be very cliche when it's a haunted doll and things like that. I've heard so many stories about haunted pot dolls like that over the years, but the Annabelle one is genuinely terrifying to me. <laughs> so guys, here is Annabelle out of the packaging. And you know what? As much as I do always joke about it, I genuinely do find Annabelle absolutely terrifying. The concept of that of the Annabelle doll is scary to me. And this is an absolutely immaculate recreation of that doll. The Living Dead Dolls one is brilliant. I have seen other ones by Mezco and stuff that were very nice. But this one, this Living Dead Dolls one is super nice. It's just the right scale, I think. And it just looks great. Some of the other dolls were a little bit bigger. Yes, they looked more like the one from the film. But I, I like the fact that this one is the one from the film. But a little bit more dollified, if that makes sense, to go with the, like, the rest of the Living Dead Dolls. But she's a great representation of the character, and I really do like her. And believe me, if she fell over or something right now, I would absolutely poop myself. <laughs> because I am, like I said, I, I do find her scary. That's why the one I've got up there has never, ever, ever left that little corner, and she stayed up there. And if it ever moved or banged its head against the glass, I would poop myself. Literally, I would poop myself. There's... Ah, sh ah no! Haunted doll, get out. <laughs> okay, Annabelle. I'm sorry, baby. I won't talk smack about you no more. As soon as this camera sh sh shuts off... Oh, my God, I'm stuttering. As soon as this camera shuts off, you are going back in the box. <laughs> that little warning needs to keep you inside. Where's the, there's like, in the, like a tarot card that keeps her from escaping. Oh, that generally made me jump. <laughs> Oh my god, I am such a baby. Oh, as long as she doesn't do it, girl, if I... <gasps> no! Oh, dudes. I literally just said, as long as she doesn't do it again, it will be okay. Oh, no, no, no. Her arms are up now. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that is positively scary. Right, you are going back in the box. You are back in the box where you belong and where you will stay forever. You evil little thing. Yep, you are back in the box. You're going back in the box. Get in your little box. You terrifying, possessed little demon. You terrifying, possessed little demon. You're gonna go in your box where you belong now. And you're gonna stay forever. Yes, that's where she stays. Stay in the box, you evil little monkey. <laughs> But guys, what are your thoughts on this figure? Let us know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this film, this uh, review and you are looking forward to The Conjuring 3, let me know in the comments. Are you going to see it tonight? That's what I'm doing. I've got an unlimited screening tonight with Cineworld and I can't wait to go back to The Conjuring Universe and see The Warrens. But guys, what are your thoughts on this awesome doll? Let us know in the comments down below. Do you want to see me do more reviews on living dead dolls. I'd love for you guys to let us know. And thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, guys, may the force be with you. Bye! <laughs>